Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I just filmed this whole intro. It was quite funny and my camera shut off and I'm like, what the heck? That's a fresh battery. There is no way that that just died. I never hit record, so that was fun. But anyways, guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today, Larry and I are getting ready to head out the door. We're gonna run some errands. We need to step at the post office and then we're gonna head off to Target for essentials and then also to peruse. And then my plan is to bring my baby carrier and carry Liam around with me in the store. So that should be fun and we'll see how that goes. And before we get started with today's vlog, today's vlog is sponsored by Scentbird. I have worked with Scentbird in the past. Basically my whole perfume collection at this point is Scentbird, which is very fun. And I have so many different ranges of scents from them. So. If you guys are unfamiliar with Scentbird, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service. You choose a new designer fragrance to try out every month for just $17, no surprises. And it's also flexible, so if you wanna skip a month, you can do so without any penalty. I think Scentbird is a great subscription service. It allows you to try a 30-day supply of fragrance without committing to the full-size bottle in case you don't like it, so that's really nice. I love fragrances, and they always bring me back to a special moment in life usually like certain fragrances I save for the fall season or one of the fragrances that I have this month is the DKNY Be Delicious. Now that transports me straight back to high school. I used to use that every single day in my senior year of high school so that just brings back all those kind of memories for me. I was really excited to see that Scentbird had changed their packaging. Not that the other packaging was bad, it was wonderful, but this is like super fancy. I love it so much. So I'll show you guys how to use them. You just kind of twist and unlock and then you open at the seal. And it just, it, it's really easy to close to. It almost has like a magnetic pool and it just is very easy. And then you can cart it in your little bag, pop it in, seal it up and toss it in your purse. What I really love about these is how convenient they are to bring along with you. So the DKNY Be Delicious, the keynotes for that are green apple, grapefruit, cucumber, is it two bros and white wood? And then my favorite in this month, which did take me by surprise, is the Confessions of a Rebel. B-I-T-C-H, please. Um, the keynotes for that one are black currant, jasmine, sandalwood, and skin musk. It kind of gives me that fall vibe, but also a bit of sweetness undertone. And then the Dolce & Gabbana light blue is not for me, but I know exactly who would like it. I'm actually gonna gift that one to my mom. The keynotes for that are lemon, apple, cedar, bamboo, and musk. It's just a little too strong for my taste. And then we have the Burberry Brit Sheer, also very nice. Peony, yuzu, yuzu maybe, peach blossom, musk, and pineapple. And then our final scent was Versace Bright Crystal Absolute which is the peony, raspberry, yuzu, pomegranate, and musk. Make sure to click the link below and use my code MINX55 for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. I also have exciting news. Scentbird is now available in Canada. And Scentbird, thank you so much for supporting my channel and sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now guys, let's head out the door and I will see you at Target. of rot poor pumpkin i like that one the multicolored, like with the green and the and the orange that's a pretty weird shape i'd be afraid to get them though with how rotten that is it has buggies on it we end up um we have quite the cartload <laughs> at the moment 
All right, guys, so Target was a success. Liam was so good inside Target, too. He just kind of fell asleep when we walked around. Larry and I pretty much perused every aisle at a very glacial pace. Mm. And it, well, not every aisle, the aisles that we were interested in. And I'll do a haul when we get back home. And now we have come to Starbucks to get ourselves a pumpkin loaf. Hopefully they have them. And I might get a pumpkin cream cold brew. Mm. Ooh, but what if it's sticky? Ooh. Maybe I won't. I already had a cup of coffee today. Well, I'll just stick well, with the- you're at your limit. Yeah, I am at my limit. No pumpkin cream cold brew for me. Pumpkin loaf, though. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. Can I get you started with something to eat today? Hi, yes. Can I have two of the pumpkin loaves warmed? Two pumpkin loaves warmed? You got it. And do you want anything else? No. And that's it. All right, that comes to 841. Thank you. Them there's ex expensive loaves, aren't they? They could probably go to the bakery at Publix and, and get buy a, a whole, whole freaking row of them. I don't think I ever noticed the price on that. Mm. Probably because we've always ordered it with other things and drinks. Well, look at that gecko running up the building. We're usually on vacation or we're out. Yeah. And it's like you said, it's a bunch of other stuff too that we're ordering. But we definitely need to get home soon because Liam is due to feed. So we should be getting home right at his like his next window of feeding time. We are officially back from Target. I'm gonna pause my laundry machine because I think that's gonna be annoying going in the background. Pause, hold on guys. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys everything that we picked up at Target. We have food goodies, we have clothing goodies, we have random things, I guess you could say. So I'm just gonna get started. The first thing is this projection light Batman, illuminate your room. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I really can't be sure if Larry got this for himself or Liam. I'm thinking Liam, but Larry's also a huge fan of Batman. So, this is really cute. I'm excited to see it hooked up. We'll ask Larry, I'm not really sure where he is. Um, he's been working in the car to get, we got a car seat, that was another thing. We got a, basically it's this liner that goes underneath the car seat to protect the leather seats in the car. So he put that in and then we're also trying to still rig the mirror so you can see Liam better. So we're still having to use a towel. I think I had a friend that sent me this link of this camera that you can buy off of Amazon and you can see your baby like really, really well. Let me know if you guys have one of those or if you have any suggestions on what to use. We can see him. It's just, we have to rig it with like rolling a towel and like pointing it downward so we can see him better. But anyways, that's what he's been up to. The next thing is the cutest thing and I cannot wait to read these stories to Liam and for Larry to read them. It's the Disney Bedtime Favorites. It is a thick, heavy duty book filled with classic stories. Sleep tight, get ready for bed with your favorite Disney and Pixar characters. Look for Ghost Flower with Russell and Carl. Tag along on a, where's that? Camp out with Mickey and the gang. Have an adventure with Wendy and more. This charming collection features new stories making bedtime fun. So I guess it's not all classic. It's for new too. So I'm just, I just, first of all, the picture, the picture, the front cover got me. And oh, the first one I've turned to is Beauty and the Beast. So yeah, I'm very excited to read those stories to Liam. Now the next thing is a mug. Are we shocked? No, but you'll see why I got this mug. I have never seen a mug like this in my life. I am so excited about it. It's a freaking turkey. It's a turkey. How cute is she? So again, on Thanksgiving or maybe all of November, I will use my turkey mug. I mean, you could even use this as, I don't know, a gravy boat thing, thingy. <laughs> I don't know, because it's kind of tipped right here, so maybe you could pour gravy out of it. I'm not really sure, maybe, maybe not. Um, but I could not pass it up. I literally looked at Larry and said, oh my gosh, is that a turkey mug? He's like, I think it is. I said, I need that in my life. So we added a new mug to the collection of mugs. Also this mum. I'm pretty sure the mums at Publix, they're a little bit bigger than this one. They're more like wide. This one's more on the tall side, I guess. They're more expensive. I saw this one at Target. It was $7.99 or $8.99. I was like, heck yeah, I'm getting the mum. So I got myself a mum, which is my favorite thing to do. And then actually, Mums do really well here in Florida. I'm actually replanting them. Like once they're in the house for a while, I'll plant them in the garden. And we have one that is coming back every single year. So that's exciting. Next, we're moving on to the coffee vibe. 
and hot chocolate. Oh, which reminds me, let me grab something fun that I found. Before we hit the coffee section, we have the original Apple, 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 Apple Cider. This is limited edition. It's by the brand Good and Gather. You guys know I'm a huge fan of that Good and Gather brand from Target. Is Good and Gather the Target brand, or is this just a brand that they sell at Target? I'm not really sure, but I love their stuff. Really good. And then this, this I'm very excited to try. And this is the Favorite Day Maple Vanilla Whipped Dairy Topping. Basically, maple vanilla flavored whipped cream. So you could put it on pancakes whatever you want. My plan 100% is to use it on top of my coffee and I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning. Uh, it's good for a long time, March 13th of 2023. Larry has been mixing this with a long time ago before we were on YouTube when we lived in Ohio. We went to a fall party with Larry's friends and I brought this along and caramel vodka. And my plan in my head was like, that would be so good. Like mixing that perfect fall treat to have by a bonfire it was cold and we had a fire going and they were so good so larry has the caramel vodka and then we have this and it's it's really good it is tasty it's a bit sweet so if you're not a huge fan of sweet sweet maybe skip the caramel vodka and go for a different kind of vibe but it is a it is a good mix if you want to have um a cozy adult beverage this time of year maybe this even on top i don't know I switched it up. I went with the Green Mountain brand. I think this was $13.99 versus $18.99. And I do love the Green Mountain brand. So I found the pumpkin spice coffee. And I also found this is very Christmassy vibe to me, but this is the cinnamon sugar cookie coffee as well. Oh, I'm just, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Enjoy the sweet, comforting taste of fresh baked holiday treats, a light roast brimming with the aroma and flavor of warm cinnamon sugar cookies. Does that not just sound lovely? And then we have to read this one because the write-ups are where it's at. Celebrate fall with the aromatic, warm and creamy flavors of cinnamon and nutmeg, the perfect way to savor fall crisp, cool days. Now, I have to say I'm a bit jealous of everybody up north right now. I see everybody wearing their sweaters, having their bonfires and their boots, and it is still way too warm for that in Florida. The fun thing about Florida right now, though, is our nights have kind of dropped into the low 60s, but our days are well up into the 80s. So we're definitely not quite sweater weather and boots and all that fun stuff, but eventually we will get there. And then next, I pointed this out to Larry. I wasn't sure if he was going to get it, but he did. You guys know that he doesn't really like coffee. Well, he doesn't like coffee at all. He's more of the hot chocolate guy. So we picked up the pumpkin spice hot cocoa mix spiced with flavors of cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. Like this sounds super good. How do they suggest that you make it? Ooh, ways to enjoy it. Top it with whipped cream and drizzle with maple syrup. Delicious with almond milk or coconut milk. Add a splash of rum for adults. Rum? That sounds super good. I mean, I'm not really drinking right now, but it sounds really good. All right, mix one hot, hot, one cup hot milk with one packet. Sounds good. Maybe we'll have that with some movie nights. And then moving over to, okay, cleaning baby bottles. These are my absolute favorite to clean his bottles with. I had one that I got, I don't know. I don't even know where I got it. And the whole thing, like the bristle brush like busted off. Like the wire was really weak and it was not a good time. Like I was getting in there and it went snap and I <laughs> flung the bristles and the bottle, the, the sponge was stuck in the thing. And I, anyways, it was a whole vibe. Anyways, these don't break. So Munchkin brand. Now let's move on to clothing items. I have been looking for one of these forever. I hope it fits right. It's, what are these called? A flannel. And it's light enough that you could get away with it in Florida because it's not a shacket. It's just a nice, soft, cozy, neutral, cream colored with brown, everyday kind of flannel. Let's try this on. I am super finicky with the way that things fit me. I hate when things like stick out in the back. So we'll see if this does that. Let me know. Is it approved? or not is these buttoned all the way up also finding this in my size was not was not an easy thing like they were selling out of these like crazy yay okay so mine is in a size medium it's a relaxed fit and it's by universal thread oh it's cute 
It's super soft. It's really, really comfortable. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, you guys can't really see the back. Oh man, that's like a perfect fit. It's like a little oversized, but like perfectly slouchy and comfortable. I mean, it doesn't really go with, it goes with this perfectly, but with jeans would be better. Oh, I really like that. Super glad that I got that purchase. And the green one that I have, you guys, I think I messed up in that video because so many of you were like, you still didn't tell us where the green flannel was from. It's from Walmart. I don't know how, I don't know how I didn't say that, but Walmart is where I got it. I will say the Walmart flannel is definitely cute looks wise, but it is not nearly as comfortable as that one from Target. Uh, the one from Walmart is definitely a little bit tight in the shoulders and it's like, it's a weird scratchy material in the inside whereas that's super soft all around. So I will say that, but I did not see a nice green flannel, the one that they had at Walmart at Target. Otherwise I would have grabbed another one. Okay, so these, I want some like everyday cropped tanks to wear under things like that. So I don't have to wear like a bulky t-shirt or something like that. Um, so these are actually from the workout section. They're the all in motion brand. I got a black one. So it'll probably come up like here and then with high waisted jeans or leggings, you would just show a tiny bit of skin. Um, so I thought that was nice. Black to go pretty much go with everything. And then to go with that, it's like this off white cream color. I got mine in a size large. We'll see how it fits and go from there. All right, next, Larry got some spooky pajamas, two piece family sleep set. This is so cute. I wanted the one, I don't know if you guys have seen them at Target. They're the orange one, the orange set, but they didn't have them in my size. I was looking for a size small because they are a men's fit. And my mom picked out the orange size and she got her normal size. And she was like, I wish I would have sized down because these are a little bit oversized. So, but they were completely wiped out of size small in those. So, but Larry got some, very exciting. And the Christmas baby pajamas strike again. I did not see these last time or they didn't have them in his size. These, again, it's from the Burt's Bees, three to six month. <gasps> Look at the Christmas trees. It's just so cute. I'm just so excited for Liam to have his first Christmas. I finally got one of these, okay? Do you know how many times I've picked these up and then put it down? In fact, when I was there today, I picked it up. It's so nice and then I put it down. Is this not the perfect rusty fall shade? So. I couldn't help myself. I grabbed it. I figured I could pull it out in September, October, and then leave it out till November. But I cannot find that beautiful green. Like if I found this in a forest green, not like a dark army green, like a pretty green, like that flannel that I bought, not this green, like the flannel, like that bright Christmas green, I would buy that in a heartbeat. Can't find it anywhere. Um, so I grabbed this and it's just, that pretty stitched knit throw, soft as you know what. I think I'm gonna put it at the end of the bed maybe or drape it over that chair. Although I like the blanket that's there now. So I don't really know where I'm gonna put this. I do think the bedroom. Is that it? Oh, no, that is not it. Ah, look at these baby socks. Little Halloween baby socks. Now that is it. No, it is not. Larry purchased a fridge air mini refrigerators to put his bubbly in. Like he drinks a lot of bubbly. Here it is. This is what he picked up. It's a stainless steel design for beverages. Okay guys, I want to take and transport the mom. Let's see, it. does it have enough water? Yeah, it definitely does. All right, I want to take the mom into the living room so we can look at it all the time. I think we'll pop it right in the leaf. I think that's a perfect fit. Mm -hmm. 